Hello, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, I am here to do your tarot reading for the beginning of May of this current year. So, you may enjoy the process. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if you resonate with this, all good. If not, don't worry about it. My um, email, Instagram, and the Facebook page is all in my description below if you're looking for a personal reading. And I'm going to try to do a live stream where um, I do like kind of the soulmate thing and then like I read your questions. Three questions. No questions upon questions. Just three. Okay. But that's it. You can pay me if you want to. If not, don't worry about it. Some of you might be spying to fulfill your own biases. Some of you might be a little bit neveled. Some of you might be like doing a little smear campaigning. Who knows? But this is definitely your energy where you're just like, fuck this person. I don't care. I'm going to be mean to them and shit. Um, Lord forbid someone give you the silent treatment considering you guys like pretty much invented it. Ugh. Ugh. Eggs. I need to finish that burrito. That'd be delicious. Okay. So, Aquarius, let's begin with you. We have, ah, uh, you're avoiding the tower, for real. Let's be like, I'm not trying to put up with that fucking drama. Six of pentacles in your wants and wishes. Yay. There's someone in the background, but who cares, because you're getting what you want. Um, your fears and rejections is like the four of cups reverse. Um, six of cups right here in the situation which is the past you got your happiness as an obstacle as well as a challenge going against you possibly leo and then we have the catalyst as well as the final result which is the sacred cloud this is what pretty much started it going on a new adventure you know disappearing like y'all do right um the beginning theme is the lovers reverse there's possibly a breakup possibly dealing with the gemini right jesus everyone always deals with like shit okay let us see. I don't know if I should try to upload through my computer or through my phone to get all these up before I'm supposed to start. It's already like 1.15. But I guess I'll just have to find out some other way. Okay. So. You are avoiding the tower. Which is like trying to get out of this illusion. Probably not trying to deal with anybody's drama either. And you're really not trying to communicate either. This is your card. Um. Might be being a little arrogant, might be being a little stuck up, probably playing the silent treatment game with somebody else, you know, because it's just like, I can wait, like, I don't mind disappearing, do you? It's like, you know, usually someone cuts someone off because they don't want to, um, like, a lot of people do silent treatments because it's like a form of punishment, which for me, I'm like... Aquarius moon so I never understood the whole point of like punishing somebody that way usually it's like if you're doing silent treatment to somebody it's because like um well for me personally silent treatment works as two ways one to just cut somebody off because they're just too dramatic or whatever and I just don't feel like dealing with that bullshit anymore it's just like okay you put me through the ringer I'm not trying to put up with your shit anymore and you're really getting all my nerves so you just go your way I'll never talk to you again I don't mind disappearing or in the second case because someone gave you the silent treatment and it was just like okay well if you're not going to talk to me I'm not talking to you I have no problems with that. You're just causing more dramatic effect in my life. Like, I hate people who think that the silent treatment is a f is like a form of punishment. Because, like, if you take it as punishment, then it is. Um, honestly, silent treatment is more like a reward for both people. Because then you don't have to put up with each other anymore. Like, I don't understand why people take not talk... Well, I can understand. I didn't a few years ago. But now that, like, I get it, it's kind of like, oh, well, this isn't the punishment. This is a fucking vacation. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, but I digress. In the past, we got the Six of Cups, which is like... There's someone possibly from your past you're thinking of. Someone you probably grew up with. Someone you probably had a lot of feelings about. And you want to let your guard down with them. Like, maybe you're in the silent treatment, but you missed them. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, oh, well... Maybe if they come say something to me, I'll let my guard down. Like, you're willing to put your guard down just to deal with this person from the past. I think. Everyone's dealing with someone from back in the day. <laughs> Everybody. 
Up here, we got the wants and wishes with the six of pentacles. Getting your blessings, which are someone in the background. That shadow person once again. But now the shadow person is closer to the point where they're actually black. Or does the shadow actually look like the shadow in the Six of Cups? This one's a lot more closer, a lot more fulfilling. It's like you went out to get your spiritual blessings. This person's standing in the background with their one pentacle, like, I got them too. And then they're trying to get your attention, but it's like you're so high up. With your ascension, it's like you're looking down and you're just like, Hey, can you yell a little louder, please? I can't hear you beg for me. <laughs> Yeah, like, nah, 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 nah. You just want to get your blessings and get the fuck out. You, you, like, you already, like, if this person, I think, like, you still have love for them. That's what that one cup is for. But it, all, uh, the, but there's a bunch of cups full of emotional drama behind it. Or behind you. And that's why you're walking away. Like, you still got love for this person. That cup is right there. But it's like, why do I want to put up with you? Like, I'm trying to deal with my own shit and here you are trying to sneak back in behind me with your one freaking pentacle just trying to show me all you've accomplished after i've done all of this stuff right here on my own like why are you coming to me uh, it's almost like why are you coming to me about like spiritual shit when i'm still a fucking student you're coming to me like i'm a fucking teacher like i'm stupid or i don't know what you fuck you're doing if you're already on your own spiritual path, why the hell are you coming to me, another student, like I know the answers to shit? I don't know nothing. I can only tell you what my opinion is. That's how um, I'm kind of taking it, but I'm an Aquarius moon. I'm not exactly like an Aquarius. I, 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 I have an idea. But you're just like, nah, fuck that, man. Like, I love you, but I gotta go. It's like, it's almost like, and this could go for cross-watchers too, mind you, but this is almost like a, It's like this person's done so little work you can see what they're doing before they even come around you. Like, you see them in the background, like that, that black shadow. You know that they're back there. You know that they're watching you. And it's just like, I literally left for this fucking reason. I literally just stopped. I mean, like, um, it's almost like they got mad because they gave you the silent treatment and you didn't come back. But it's just kind of like, you stopped talking to me, so... Why the fuck would I come back? That makes no fucking sense. But, you know, this is a game. What's going against you? The sun. Synchronicity. Like, doing that whole um, one dance that they do that I have no idea what the name of it is. But it's like just being all in that possession of total happiness. Knowing exactly who you are and what you're trying to accomplish. Right? And the problem with that is still trying to get more blood out of a tree that's already been used up. Like, whatever alchemy or magic that's been being used, in order for you to gain your happiness, it's starting to run its course. In fact, you're probably s sucking it dry like a Capri Sun. Like, you spent an hour, like, trying to suck all the juice out, and now there's nothing else in it. And now, like, your gums are kind of bleeding. Kind of like that. Like, you're working so hard to be happy and get that synchronicity that it's kind of like... You need to learn not to, like, try so hard, I think. Or maybe you're happy, and then all of a sudden this person just comes and starts zapping your tree. It could be that, too. Or they come trying to get your tree. Like, you're all in yourself with your spirit and all that shit, and then this person just comes up, and, and then you, like, gotta leave your shit. And it's just kind of like, no, dude, I don't want anything to do with you. Stop following me. Um... You made this choice. Stop bugging me about this shit. You know? Four of Cups. Reverse. Rears and rejections. Having regrets over the laws. Having regrets over things that are no longer. Um, things not wanting to die and be let go of not changing as a person like you're rejecting and fearing that it's like you're afraid that things won't change and you just rather just not deal with it at all i agree with that then we have the sacred clown right here someone wants to go on an adventure start something new catalyst as well as the final result the beginning and the end what causes this full cycle someone's just like i want to start on a new adventure because you're getting on my fucking nerves and making me lose sleep 
All right. This is the whole point of you running away from them with the eight of cups right up here. It's because they, they bother you too much. They mentally fuck with you. It's like, fuck it. I'd rather just go start something new. But you're constantly just, it's like they just come back to keep reminding you. And it's starting to really get under your skin. Fuck did he go that's like so far that it takes him this long. Just thinking of my husband, sorry. Man, I should have seen him come up already, but it's whatever. But yeah, um, the ending theme as well as the beginning theme. Things did not work out the way you thought they were in this relationship and or breakup. It's like nobody was working together, so nobody is together. So it was just kind of like you took off because it was bothering you too much. And now the person is just kind of like, eh. Why are you bugging me about it now? Why are you acting like I need to share? Like Capricorn kind of had this too. It's like, why are you so concerned about what the fuck I'm doing now? Yeah, it's like you're completely un we're unhappy with this pairing with the sun right here, right? Like it didn't make you happy anymore. You're not happy with it. Like you want to let your guard down with this person, but it's like they need to let theirs down first. Like, they need to actually try to open up to you before you open up to them. They need to come to you before you come to them. Like, you know, that, like that's kind of an Aquarius thing. Like, uh, Aquarius tend to run away. Especially, they feel like some stuff's dramatic. But, if you open up to them and tell them outright, like, they, they, they probably won't keep the cycle going much longer, you know? They'll actually, like, stand there. Like, they're expecting you to be logical and be adults about how you deal with your business. And if you just keep showing that you're being childish and immature and acting out in order to try to get an emotional response, they'll just fucking book it. Because I, I, I do the exact same thing. And that's because of my Aquarius mood. I think I got Aquarius somewhere else, but I can't remember where. And then we have... The Six of Wands. Which is like, it's not like an enemy in the house, I don't think. It's more along the lines of like, you just feel like someone's against you. Or people are against you. And that's probably why you feel like you just need to get the fuck out. Because it's just like, nobody's fucking helping me with this shit. And, you know, that kind of thing, right? Marriage and commitment? Is there things that you still don't know going on? Because like, the Hierophant's got its thing up. It's supposed to be about good things... It's supposed to be about, like, possibly religion, order, um, community, shit like that. I feel like you might want to get out of a relationship where you're committed to because nobody's going to change. Um, nobody's letting anything die. No one's really doing anything to let stuff work. And I think that's really what's getting to you the most. It's like you've tried and you, like, uh, yeah, I think that's what it is with, like, um... Your card reversed right here. It's like you've tried to communicate. And you're just sick of it. So you're just leaving this tower while it's burning. And just being like, fuck this. I'm, I'm, fuck this shit, I'm out. You know? That's just, that's just what you want to do. You want to get away from this fucking energy. Because it doesn't serve you at all. It, it, it bothers you more than anything. You're not into the dramatics. It's like, what's the point of me... Like, what's the point of me coming to communicate with you when you won't even tell me shit? That's what I'm getting right here. It's like, even if this person comes up to you, you feel like you're just going to say whatever to make you happy. Which really does not make you happy. It's like, just, just looking at this person's face is enough to just piss you off all over again. Like, you thought about it and this is like, oh, okay. Now I'm just all mad all over again. You know, most Aquarius will, like, disengage once they start getting in their emotions. At least that's how I feel it kind of is. And it's just, like, this person's got you in your emotions, and now you're just pissed off because you're all emotional about it. But I hope you all enjoyed the reading, and I hope that helps you out. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys join me for my live stream. If not, it's cool, because I'm not worried about it. Somebody, like, one person might come by, and I'll be happy with that. But I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.